I'm still moving stuff. Oh. Whoops. I still haven't. There we go. It's more like it. So I'm waiting for K Wing to start his stream. Because, well, he's streaming Nick Fury, which apparently came out on Thanksgiving Day for whatever reason. I don't know. And yet again, my shirt looks orange on my stream, although it's really red. That's, well, last time it was my jacket. This time, it's my shirt. I don't know why it does that. But I got Carnage recently, so good for me. Actually, I got that yesterday. Um, I was at HB's house yesterday, so sorry I didn't exactly stream. Actually, I didn't stream at all. No, I screen recorded it. I do have a gaming episode coming up tomorrow. It's just not going to be the normal. Um, it's actually going to be kind of like... Um, Kind of like how I did this one episode. It's only just the recording. So like it because me and HGB played Among Us last night, um, before we fell asleep, and so really it only shows one game of Among Us. So I had to do something because I knew I couldn't just do something quick on Friday, especially since I don't know if I'll see him on Friday. I was thinking about live streaming a game or something. Well, so I'm trying to get the Carnage Pickaxe, which I only need five more Battle Stars for, and then I'll have everything in the Battle Pass. And I could also try to uh, deal damage the players with the Sideways Scythe. Then I could possibly get the Cube Queen Pickaxe, but the end event's coming up. This house is eight times our budget. I hit a button. Wrong stream. That's they just got recently got done streaming um a Madden. So crap, I lost it. Crap, I lost it. There it is. Someone in the chat just said they want Hello Kitty and Fortnite. Really? Really? That makes no sense. Why? Why would you... Honestly, why would you put Hello Kitty in Fortnite? Like... I got nothing. Either way, I will be live streaming reactions and possibly actually watching it. Well, I'll play it. I'll watch it, obviously. But it's in 8 days, 16 hours, 58 minutes. It is December... 3rd. No, 4th. December 4th, 3 p.m. Central Time, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific, as on a Saturday. I'll definitely be live streaming that. Because I won't have anything better to do. Or wait, crap. Don't tell me that's the A-State game. Well, it's at 3 p.m. The game would be... Okay, hold up. I need to look this up. We might have a pickle if it's at... If it's next Saturday. Cowboys got beat, sadly. Okay, okay. It's, it's Saturday. It's this Saturday. Thank gosh. I was fixing to say. So this Saturday, I might try to film some, make a little vlog... For the a from the A-State game against Texas State. Senior day for ASU. They actually have a 61.5% chance of winning. Or predictor. 38.5% is Texas State. So. And then that's the last ASU home game. And also definitely last ASU game of the season. They weren't the best this year. They've only won two games. But then they just got, they're trying to get used to a new coach, Butch Jones, because, well, stuff happened. 
Blake Anderson's now with Utah State. And now it's at 10-15. Well, crap. And also, tonight, I am also on this same stream. I'll be streaming until midnight. That's my plan. But I'm also planning on reacting to Sapphire's brand new song, Call You Mine, which uh, comes out tonight. Technically in an hour. That's from the NFL stream from apparently two years ago. Whoa, now they moved it to 10.15 p.m. That's fun. But I'll be checking it out. It'll definitely be on my release radar, so listen to that. Give it a little bit of a listen and reaction to it near the end of this stream. Possibly, I don't know. It'll be after I get done playing with K-Wing. Which is coming up. Um, in like five minutes. Well, almost time. Ten, er, there! Almost five minutes. This might be the 20th gaming episode next Friday. Because this Friday is just a little Among Us episode. Um... Need some brisk BRP. <laughs> K-Wing just says, need some brisk BRB. So got four minutes apparently because Kwing had to move the stream a little bit. This was like a last minute thing because I found out Kwing was streaming. So. Apparently that's from Kaylin Stream from 2019 on Thanksgiving of Madden.
we get that. Two minutes now. Yeet. It's already been ten minutes on the stream. And sorry if I'm not really reading chat. Because actually, normally I never do. I'll be back. I probably need to wash my hands. Okay. Oh, yeah, I might need to close the door. There we go. And it's just a time, hopefully. Maybe this time. And we should be going live any minute now. <sighs> I've had a long day. Yesterday I spent the night at AGB's house. Today I went to my grandparents' house. I've had a long weekend. Or not weekend. Ugh, it feels like Friday and Saturday. Today feels like Saturday. That's really Thursday. Um, it's been a long Wednesday and Thursday, I guess you could say. I don't know. Any moment now, K Wing should be going live, and then I can join his lobby and definitely probably doing Team Rumble. Um, technically, I have two episodes that I can make for the gaming episodes because I also because I had played with um, K Wing or technically K Wife, um, K Wing's wife. Um, trying to think of when it was. It was like a few days ago. It may have been Monday. It was like Monday or Tuesday. I I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, it was... Crap, I don't know. Hold up. Tuesday. Two days ago. 
No wait, crap. Wait. Yeah, two days ago. Again, feels like a Friday. Or a Saturday. Don't tell me K-Wing. Okay, I was about to say. Okay, need a minute. Okay, so K-Wing still hasn't started the stream because he's still tired. Because apparently, Turkey making him. I. Probably can't see it. That might be a thumbnail. I don't know. Yeah, sorry, you can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. And crap. Now we have until 10.30. Oh, that's fun. I guess I could go ahead and go to a Team Rumble match and then once it's time. Yeah. I'll go ahead and do that so I'm just not, so I'm not just sitting here. I probably need to land at AM Sideways Anomaly. So I could get this guy, try to get the Cube Queen's pickaxe before the end event. We have 10 minutes until Kewing's supposed to go live. He's still taking a bit. Wolverine loading screen is what I get. So I just need to land outside sideways normally. Really, I need to level up uh, at least once or twice to get a um, um, freaking um, to get Carnage's glider or not glider pickaxe. Oh crap! It's in circle. Never mind. I can probably go there once in the spawning circle. Guess I could just drop lazy. First player in the match to touch the <laughs> sideways rifle. Not what I'm needing. I'm needing the sideways scythe. I can possibly. I can. I can get an XP from a. My, doing a little. Oh crap! It didn't work. <laughs> Doing a little, oh crap, it didn't work. <laughs> Adding, um, freaking side, um, off-road tires to, um, by doing off-road tires to a, um, I just realized that was a, whoa, that was a really cool combo. I need to screenshot that. I didn't realize there was a chest there. Is he up? That is nice. I, I'm gonna send that to Jake. That that was a really cool combo. I thought that was I thought that was nice. Okay, I need to find the truck. I could throw the subway starters on it and go ahead and drive it too. It.
the crap if we can even get a vehicle. The storm is like, well, well, the storm is like literally right on my tail. I was like, you know what? I respawn in Team Rumble, so let me just uh, do a little upgrading, or well, the one thing. Crap, where's the chest? Found it. Medkit. Oh, what? There's this other chest. Found it. Oh, whoops. Freak it. Zoom! This blows myself up. And spawns right in circle. Crap, I'll probably can't make it to the anomaly now. I can do it with K Wing. Yes! A blue auto sniper. And I'm lagging, so that's fun. Yes! Oh, wait, never mind. I don't want the sideways mini gun. Actually, yeah, I'll take it. I was like, do I want it or no? Yeah, I want it. I fell. Um... So stupid, you're shooting at your own teammate. Oh, there's the Midas again. The Shadow Midas. Same one. I will take that blue pump. I don't want no dual fiend hunters. I don't like those things. I mean, they're okay, but they're not that good. Another sideways rifle, fine. There's chest up here. Um, okay. Where is it? I think I found it. Oh, come on. Where's the app? I just Harry Potter myself. Actually, I trapped myself in. Found it. Found the darn chest. Oh crap. He's trying to get away. An idea.
Ah, oh, crap, he's out of range now. Ten minutes. Oh, crap. Got you? Leveled up, nice. Die. Double kills, let's go. Don't tell me they're landing right net right at me again. Cause that was like the dumbest idea. Oh crap, there's some. Got him. <laughs> Just snipes him. Probably like, whoa, where did that come from? Oh, can't wait about to go live. So, time to leave. Do I have enough? Yes, I do. I've officially completed the battle pass for this season. But now I can actually technically get the um, extra awards. I have to get 25 battle stars to get the maximum carnage skin. What the crap? Or the maximum version of carnage. Then there's the helmet version of Chimpansky for 15. Tune talking. On the metaphon. Arctic. Arc. Arc. Arctic operative. Arctic. Art. I'm just going to go with Arctic. Arctic operative. Um, core. Tattered Spirit, Charlotte, Sightless Stalker, Torn, Flame Roasted, Fabio Sparklemane, very confusing name, but at the same time it's a freaking unicorn, very confusingly stupid to, for Fortnite to make that skin. You have to get 30 for the Tattered Spirit, um, Charlotte, that is so confusing. I guess I'll go for 25 or 50. I'm probably not even going to be able to get to it. You know, I actually kind of want to put on Carnage because I've never played of it as him. Oh, actually, sorry. I've, I've played as him like once this season. I think. Oh, come on. Oh, wait, never mind. I was about to say. Um, where did Carnage go? I don't know. Oh, there we go. 
time or what? Go ahead and join. For a while. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Get it now. Oh. Oh, great. I am high on trip to fan, uh, so we'll see how long I get to scream. Um, I just chugged down two cans of brisk iced tea in the break between the last stream, so we'll see how long brisk baby keeps me up. Um, but I, oh my gosh, I'm fighting, I'm fighting. We're going with the Avengers, I guess. Because technically that is I an Avengers. Looks great. He looks like a young Samuel L. Jackson. Like, kind of. He also kind of looks like an old comic. Back bling. Found it. Never mind, yeah, that does not fit. Yeah, I Wolverine. So the fact that it was a cat that did it. Merchant Pansky's pickaxe. Merchant Pansky's. Go. He's got his little Bluetooth there. Talking to probably Maria. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. He's got this Nick Fury director's scythe because yeah, the director needs a scythe, I guess. It's Fortnite. He also has a really cool glider. I love this glider. It's pretty dope. And then he has this picture. Eh, I might use it. I might not. I don't know. Really oh my gosh! So Nick Fury for Thanksgiving, because why not? That yeah, because why not? Right? That makes no sense, especially oh, when we're coming near to the end of the like, season, like, you know, it's or even the end of the chapter. Packed, literally packed, packing heat, and not just like a thermal lunch thing. Oops. Yeah. I keep forgetting it's not A anymore, or. X anymore to apply to all, which is kind of confusing. You have to hold A. Don't mind me. I'll be drinking brisk in the background because I got to ask you a question. Sure. Do you have a pet of Marvel Snap 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 sibling in college and they said, I have five days off. I might come see you and you're like 1,200 miles away or whatever. Looks like it's us four first for Team Rumble. Because we were already finding a match. Yeah. If I'm cheap, it would be I would drive and I would do it in 11 hours or 10. Um, if, right. If your sibling doesn't have a car, then I would do a plane. So I'd do I would economy. Have to pick him up. Oh, right. right. What do you do over there? I'm gonna find something non-copyrighted. You know what? I don't want him to spend nope. money on. I don't. I mean, I'll get him a. I'll get him a. A war, housewarming gift. Housewarming gift. I'll get him one of those things for college where you get them crackers. On there we go. Got the roller skater loading cheating. screen. What? Of the skin that I don't even have. Hunter has it. Really I don't. Me, but I don't want to get the, the. He got the Naruto loading the screen. Mm -hmm. And it's what? easy. Then you say no. More importantly, I don't want you oh to boy. get the zombie. Oh boy, using the mic. I've had, like, people say they want to visit me. I said, not it? during the pandemic. Nope. I've had cousins. Found them. I've had uh, friends and family. Yeah, I mentioned, said, nope. I mean, your cousin's wife talked to me about it again. All right, yeah. Iron Man. What? We have to be really careful about okay. Uh, crap, I'm gonna have to go AFK for a second. Um, I come from a family that doesn't believe it exists, oh, yet they've had yeah. it twice. Uh, once, twice they were hospitalized for it, and they still just go about also, life normal. I don't want to talk about this, but I'm gonna talk about it. Just, like, not, not too much. I won't talk about it too much, but today I was out in the store. Yeah. There must have been a hundred people in the grocery store. I was the only one out of a hundred that had a mask on. The only one. Yeah, the day, I'm sorry, but the day they say, oh, it's illegal to wear masks again, then I'm just going to have food delivered to the house. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not like going to the store. Like, everyone in Pennsylvania and Illinois is pretending like this. Like, when I tried to explain to my parents that this thing was actually, like, they needed to be careful and everything, 
my family just looked at me like they almost laughed at me like they were just like it's just the flu like, yeah my my family was like wow i'm surprised that you're so worried about this it's like and i was like well the ambulance came like what a every, blogan. Well, the, the ambulance has been coming out here near my apartment complex every month to carry another person away well we do live near uh old people but I'm just saying, like, it's actually There's... happening. Like, it's not mm -hmm. like a uh, fantasy. <sighs> well, the people that are getting really sick from it in our area, at least according to the medical stuff I've read, are people that are overweight and people that are over the age of 70. Um, they're the ones that are getting the complications. Yeah, and but still, and these people are going to the I'm school. Back and I'm back, and I'm still riding. You know, and, and you know, what, you know what's really weird, though? Mm -hmm. They're telling medical I know we're okay when you so I can just get to him. Like, they're trying to make, like, telling you that you're overweight and that can make you at risk for health problems. They're trying to make that a hate crime in the medical field. But the thing is, your, your body weight is an indication of how your organs, it doesn't matter if you're if you're feeling my walls hurt, like trap someone in are still going to have to do more work if you're why like three, four i don't know pounds. or or yes. if the guy you know unfortunately if the guy's born too tall i mean you yep. have to pump more blood to your heart i mean yep. it's just science you the can't change the science. taller you are and the more weight you are the more that it is pressure on you so actually you know the only people that really can't like fix that are tall people people who are like yeah, if you're tall there's nothing massively you obese you can actually get yourself in shape and yeah. like give yourself like 20 years of your That's life what back. they should say they should be like you actually have the you have the power, you have to, the do power to do that yeah. if you're tall there's nothing you can do no you i'm can't untall i'm i'm almost uh i'm close to six four and it's like you know when i get older that's going to be very detrimental oh, to me because yeah, the, my heart perfect. is going to have to Oh, oops. Amber is only 5'2, so she's either her rage is going to make her live longer. Or, holy cow, what is that thing? Oh, um, it's her rage is going to make her live longer. Or, oh, I'm in a Mac. What the heck is this? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he knew those were in the game. Technically, they're back. I'm in a Mac, yo. A Nick Fury Mac. <laughs> Nick Fury Mac. That right, actually sounds dope. This is dope. This is dope. This is dope. Yep. Not Welcome to near the end of chapter not. two. Wait, am I ever riding this? Is somebody driving this? <gasps> it's driving by itself. No, bum, wait, there's bum, somebody in bum. here. There's somebody in here. Um, I'm just doing this fun little laser thing. No, 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 no. Oh wait, I'm, I'm controlling say, something. I don't want to charge. I'm wasting down. all our ammunition. It doesn't matter. Pretty good. I'm just gonna <laughs> fall to my death. This is so cool. I didn't know they had giant robots. When did they get giant robots? Did they replace the cars with giant robots? Nope. They still have cars. But now they brought back the max. Okay, what was I talking about? Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm in a giant robot. <laughs> Epic. Uh, so. We're saying since you're tall, you're going to die early. I mean, yeah. Well, I don't know about the early, but it's going to, as I get older, it's going to be harder. So I'm just going to no. stay in bed a lot. <laughs> well, <laughs> when I, when like, I'm in my 70s or 80s, I'm just going to be sleeping a lot. I'm just saying, like, they're actually telling medical doctors they're not allowed to help you. Yeah, I probably won't use the armor walls anyways. I know a way to get the K-Wing. I'm Iron Man. I can freaking fly! Oh, my ass. Oh, I see him! I see him in the map! I just seen him fly. You know what? What's a mech without a boat? Doctors need to keep doing doctors. Oh things. gosh! Uh, because it's, it's important. Like, I'm almost there. You know, you're, there he is. Another mech? Yeah, I've heard that. Yeah, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You're in a weird mood. Uh, Got one. No, he exploded the mech! Uh -huh. Oh crap, right behind me. Oh. Got him.
Yeah. SMG, I'll take it. Holy crap. Holy crap! Where? Who stole my boat? Thank you for stealing my... Oh, crap. That's what that was. The darn paper bombs. Yeah, that would be just the bare minimum. You've never taken a test before? Oh my gosh. Like, I take a test every, like, month or something. If I, you know, if I end up going out of the house or something, I'll, I'll get a test done. Or, you know. That's the thing, though. My brother lives in Chicago. There's so many people there. Uh, that he, interacts with. he also works in retail, too. Yeah, so he's literally touching people every day in a huge city. I know, that's terrifying. And then he's going to come here and, like... Uh, I tried to explain. I tried to explain it to your cousin's uh, wife, like about your health issues with breathing and stuff. Yeah, that would suck for me. But it's like I don't. Oh my gosh! Someone in the get in the party was actually literally named. I don't know. I'm Iron so Man. paranoid about that stuff. I have a ox, ox, What do they call this? It's a um. It's an oxygen thing that like checks the oxygen in my blood. Oxide. It's a little machine that I, I bought off a medical site. I was about to say, I have and, a good feeling uh, someone's up there and we should destroy it. Well, someone's doing my job. End of 2019, I bought I will this help with that. Time. And it, Goodbye. it, um, Imagine. It uses some type of like, nope. I don't know what it is. It's like some, when I put it on my finger, it's the same thing. All right, somehow, so, somehow, somehow, I think I cracked it, one. It checks and hey, 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 hey. This dude, this default is a butthole. Like the days that it's not 99 or 98, I'm like, ah! Um, that, so I definitely don't want a family member. I'll just explain to my brother, like, you know, we've had many people ask to come over. Yes, Kaylee! Oh crap, watch out! Oh no, did Kaylee just die? Oh crap, well, I'm about to get my own answer! Ouch! Ah, uh, yes, let's blame burping on being tired. That's I, just a. Yes, because if I wasn't tired, I would be more. That wasn't me, that was Zelda. Oh, crap, no, Kaylin died. Burps sound different. Oh, mm, I have a plan. Say the word. I know, Over oh, here. Stop it! I'm a girl! Please cut that out! Stop hitting me! I'm not, I'm putting a blanket on you! If that's what you want to call it these days. Oh my god! You just dropped your phone through the couch, by the way. Oof. Just kind of I feel so embarrassed. Just from that? My gosh. Wow. So you're oh, wait, never mind. That's your TV. All right. Uh, am I being chased by somebody? I want to find another one of those mech things. That was well, epic. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's over. Just about. Just about. We have, like, D minus. Ah, I cracked them. Hey! My Nick Fury's in this? Got him. They waited way too long to put Nick Fury in this. Ouch! Maybe he doesn't want to... No, I was so close! He was probably one shot. I mean, our house is pretty poppin'. So. Why would you want to drive... I mean, I didn't want to be... I said that's very sweet but of you. But here's the difference. Last time he came here, maybe he's under the impression that, hey... Uh, maybe they'll have something going on in New York City that they'll be going to again. Because we, we took my brother-in-law uh, to New York City with something us when happening. when we had to go to a press event. Like, the week oh, was found K-Wing. Literally, Hello. You know, Holy crap. Here, the what the crap was that? I just, that did not, yep, we'd be live that did not sound right. Nothing to do. Like, I don't think he understands. Like, I do not have a minute of the day. I'm working from 9 a.m. until 11 o'clock at night every single day. There's I no probably need time. to take this. Is between 11 a.m. and 2, in which I will either take a nap or go out and get food. There's nothing, there's no time. Oh, speaking of uh, stuff, Amazon said it delivered a bunch of this, like your carpets and other things, but I don't see them. I know. Oh, so you, you've been noticing oh. that too. Oh, there are cars still available. No, I brought the carpets. Oh, you did? Uh, yeah. Purple, sideways, oh, rifle. Some other stuff. I saw the um, the complete Iron Man um, animated series from the 90s was delivered, but some... I did. Um, I did. I haven't ordered any of that. You, you got those because you thought they were going to go on sale. Oh, I oh crap. On sale. I got them on sale because there's very few of them left. The only thing I got the 
Hello. Dude, you're not Bob the Builder. Although he's really trying to be. He's running away. It is a literal default. Literal. Like, I'll have some of your food that you made but for your But he husband. doesn't even eat. Yeah, you're a mistake. Oh, he, it, he doesn't even eat meat, though. Oh, that's right. He's a vegan now, isn't he? Yeah, that's why it's uh, like. Karma. Yeah. Well, then there is nothing for him to eat here. Right. Because everything, uh, everything I make is. I just got third party, you butthole. No, if, we're losing this I, one. We I got. Say this right now. We are definitely losing this one. Regardless of our schedule, if the zombie plague was not going on and still being strong in this area of Pennsylvania, because idiots. The uh, what? I would say, yeah, your brother would come, and then I would hobble upstairs with my cane, and I would rearrange the office and try to do some Whoa. stuff. Whoa! Hey. But even if he was here, direct. I don't have time to spend with him or watch him. Well, that's the thing. Like. Oh no, Kaylee like, died. Like, I'm oh, probably oh, fixing to die too. I have a feeling he would be like not able to do one stream without being like either utterly bored or oh, I like, forgot all that. Like, uh, I, I forgot I was gonna land like, like the anomaly. They're giving you money. No, well, I mean, I couldn't I because obvious reasons. <coughs> no. Goodbye. Oh come on, just, man! It's never good to mix business with pleasure, unless you're married. I have no joke. clue what I just did. Don't, don't ever I did a thing. Ah. I was like, I'm done. So when I was half awake this morning, I said my oxygen level was 95. We'll just stay in here. Oh. I'm just talking. I'm not, I can't even. I'm not even looking at the chat. I hope you Oh my gosh, that's still terrifying. Hello, people of the chat. I'm sorry. I'm just going upstairs. Get up to 99, you stupid machine. Yes. Oh, that's good. Let's see. But it says my pulse right now is like. Uh, I just got you talking about your health. That's always about my health. That's so easy to read. You never talk about your health except for I just brought it up. Oh no, my Fortnite streams get real weird. I'm serious. I was I was talking about all kinds of weird stuff on the Kakashi stream. Yes, really I'm nervous about talking to my family about your health because I'm afraid that they'll be like, oh. You know, just on, tonight. Tonight I did the wrong email. I don't want to think about what you said Blood oxygen level 99, heart rate 80. That's still pretty good. I don't understand when my when one family member is like, oh, great to hear you. Do you want to talk to your mom? Almost Why? perfect timing. Like, That's what phone calls are like, though. But that feels really right. Rude. I'll, like, I'll tell you. This is how my calls go with family. Dang. Oh, no. Kaylee was the last yeah. kill. And I get passed on to my grandma, and I'm there for 15 minutes. So I only have five minutes to talk. Set aside some time, I call. I get my dad. My dad tells me something about the Steelers, and he tells me something about his church, and then asks me how my leg's doing. I say, same. Get passed to my mom. My mom says, praying for your leg. It's like, thanks, mom. And then uh, she says, you want to talk to grandma? And I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, if you pass me to grandma, grandma's going to talk for 15 minutes. Get passed to grandma, and now it's well past 15 minutes. And grandma's telling me, you know what? You need to eat better. It's like, I do eat better. Uh, my, my wife makes all my food. Then what happened to your leg? No one knows what happened to my leg. Why are we bringing up my leg? I don't want to talk about my leg. I just want to see how you're doing. How are you doing, grandma? Yeah, I make very <laughs> healthy food. What is she talking about? She's, she's just being nosy grandma, more, but, but it's more. like, you know. Well, all my food has a lot of vitamins in it. I would be dead without your I can't, I can't make it any healthier than it is. But I'm just saying, that's what or family do, does. Though, is you get, is especially on Thanksgiving, you get passed around. If you're the family member that doesn't show up for Thanksgiving or any holiday, because why not? and you call on the phone, this, this even happens at sitcoms. You get passed around to everybody, or they put you on speakerphone, and they all try to talk at once. That's just Wolverine, normal. ready up. It's annoying. Stop doing that stupid email. Make sense? conversation was like i wish i could visit you guys but the pandemic and all but then he started asking questions like 
Oh, he's like right. I forgot the pandemic, and it's like oh my like, gosh, you live in like ground zero, and it's of like you live Chicago. in the middle of Chicago. Like, are you not aware? Like, it's like yeah, but no. The the what what, what happens to you on the phone is completely normal. Oh, uh, one of our friends says I highly suggest if you do get a chance go see Ghostbusters. It's like, dude, the theaters. <laughs> What? I'll probably go alone. <clears throat> go for a matinee. Go by this yourself. Is, okay, let me explain to you. This is what happens when I go outside. I'm allowed to go once a week. I go to my church thing on Saturdays. That's the only thing I'm Not you. To. And you go shopping sometimes. Sometimes I go to the store. Not Other you. That, oh, wait. That's the same person. I don't go outside. Now they're calamity. And now they just swap the venom right week. at the last second. On, oh, besides normal needed things. If I would go to the movies, I love that background. Then Luke would not hug me for two weeks. <laughs> that, that <laughs> well, no, you would be, according to science, you'd be contagious, like physically to touch and you for Luke about. No, nope. get... excuse me. Forty-eight hours is what your your contagiousness would be. So I would avoid. Forget, I can't see it right next to Kaylee. Yeah, and Either then way, we do. I am like, Iron Man. I'm going all, to land Missy Meadows like, because. If I was, well, like, crap. Never mind. Me. That's red shooting territory. Hey, my crazy methods, as far as I know, has never Coral gotten Castle. to the zombie plague. So why? Yes, we wash our hands I don't know. Else. Because, yes, we take you know what? Here's why. People. Because we why is it still here? The most people. But, my crazy methods have kept us... Why is Coral Castle still in the freaking so, game? Even though I'm eccentric when it comes to germs, no virus. So, you're welcome. Even my crazy methods worked when you were like, traveling oh my across gosh. the country. To go check on your mom. Oh crap, I'm already in the store. That's fine. You car. had wipes in your car, you had disinfectant. I had paper towels You had masks, wipes. you had gloves. You looked like a loon, but guess what? You traveled across the country, did not get the virus. So winning. Yeah, and, and all of your family has traveled across and they all got it. Yep. My family traveled during the pandemic and they got the COVID. Thank God none of them died, but they did catch it. Uh, they could have gotten it from the restroom. They could have got it from touching fast food. Like I'm one of those people that when shock I get fast food, I don't shock I don't okay, the wrappers. I very carefully yeah, take the food the plate, out of the wrapper and then I nuke the crap out and of it. Then wash my hands. And then wash my hands. Yeah. First, I put the wrapper in the trash and all of the extra things with it. Then I go wash my hands and dry them. Then I get the the food out of the microwave and then I eat it. Yep. And then you wash your hands after you're done eating. That's what I do. I, I touch my controllers in between streams. I yeah, wash my hands. I wash my hands before yep. I touch the controller. And I try I've, to... I've given the soap industry so much money the past two years because soap is like the thing that I buy the most of. It's crazy. That's really cool to see that mech. I mean, I think the thing I can basically tell my brother is just like, I work from night. Well, oh, I thought caring was a new mech. I mean, guy. like I said, if... I don't have any time for if, anyone to if we didn't have this thing going on, he would be free to visit. But there's no uh, time though. He would have to be in his room the entire yep. time. I'd see him sideways for rifle. Minutes. See him for 15 minute breaks in between streams. Yep, for meals and whatever. He can study his stuff, or you know, he's a college kid. Could do his TikTok stuff. I don't know. Tons of game systems to play upstairs. You'd have things to do. But yeah, I no. can't. I can't dedicate a lot of time. But I'm just saying, I would, I would totally allow him, in, but not right now. No. So may I, may I, that's a no for me. May I say something or no? Uh, sure. I think not. I think like, like, I, like to I'm the glad store. that I have work that I can like. I know, like, okay, I can pour myself into this work. I want to say like, poor. But when I when I would work anywhere else, like a bank, insurance, anything, mm. retail, I was like really taking my I'm, job I'm that kidding. seriously because I just do my job, come home, that's it. It's like there's not much to it. Ninety percent of people I know, that's their job, is they just they just do the bare minimum of their job and come home. So like his version of work and my version of work is 90% different. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. and most people's like a lot of people, like they just do their job come home. That's not how my job works. 
it's like I do my job and then I look up information how to do my job tomorrow what? and then I get in meetings about how to do my job six months from now and then I sit there open the like, supply drop online about how I'm gonna do my job no, six didn't. years from now. Oh, oh okay. that's not the supply saying, drop. Like, always doing my job all Dang the it, time. they open the supply drop. Um the t shirt people got back to us. What? Oh crap, oh crap visions that you did was not approved they said too much color fine then just do the first one yeah i'm gonna do the first one again. wow i can't hey. believe i, I told it. you i told you i said if you if you try to make it pop too much because of their printing press place or whatever Time go. they're going to most likely reject it oh, and that's what happened because they were trying to because what happened was somehow by accident the first one which is by a miracle, I guess, is the oval inside of like Pikachu and Omoga, like it looks kind of like whitish. Yeah. But when you did the standout thing, it made the oval inside more. Still saving some so shockwaves from Taylor. Somehow, when you were trying to diminish the color for the party streamers that were around, it somehow added more color and more texture to it. And so they said no. I thought they were going to say no because like copyright, like this looks too much like Pikachu and Omoga, but. Because we basically made them like seriously, Bob the Miller. Characters and you know, gave oh, hit him out of midair. Like beard and my got him. And glasses and did that thing to his tail and other stuff. It's totally no, parody right. or that was nice. transform work, so we can sell it. I I hope my brother. Well, my brother doesn't have the answer to that right now because he's in my parents. That was close. If, if, if you're oh really crap! Nope, this, I was I spotted. He would be free to come if it was ah, the arms. pandemic, but I don't have the time to spend the way that I did three years ago. Ah, but more paper bombs! Our uploads, we weren't live streaming. There's no time. No, wait, no, no, I take that back. We were live streaming. We were streaming live streaming <laughs> once in a while. Once ah. a day. Once a day. Once a day. Maybe, maybe once or twice. <laughs> That's maybe. what I was saying. Like, it's wow, two HP. I'm live streaming. Or no, oh, never mind. That's ammo yeah, on the shockwave. 38 HP. I said 2 HP. Him, that like, was weird. Car is not, it's completely destroyed. Like, there's tons of stuff in it. I can't oh, get out of it. Okay. I have no oh, way to, to help me clear out my car. Okay, I, goodbye, I, truck. My, this entire place is filled with Holy boxes. crap. Holy crap. I I'm any, going to I die. Tried to explain him. I, said, I just blew up the truck. The room where you were staying is filled with boxes. I have no way. I said I would have to take two or three weeks to clear that out. And ah. he just blankly didn't say anything. Yeah, those boxes Hit him. Got him. from developers and stuff. Right, but I, I have nowhere to put them. I don't I know. Know. If you put I'm them at 7HP. Right, that's what I'm saying is that I don't have I don't have any room anymore. That's, yeah, that's unfair. There's no, I mean. But what, I, I, what I was going to tell you is. What I hate is uh, when people act like, oh, can I please come over? And then more rockets, like, nice. Well, this is a very difficult situation. Oh, no worries. I'll be fine. Then they come over and they're like, oh, I don't really have any room here. It's like, right, I tried to explain you this on the phone. You said you're fine with it, and now you're pretending like there's something wrong. That's what I hate when people are just like, oh, I'll be fine. There won't be any problem. And then uh, and uh, people are like, oh. How oh, no. <laughs> I fell out of the tree. Oh crap! Today I work. I, I just. I don't want to tell you. It's just. You're gonna tell me anyway. Just, though, aren't you? It's just. Ah 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 ah. Goodbye. Neom. Yes. Let me in. No no no. Let me in. I broke your car. Like, oh, it's cooking Thanksgiving. A lot of work. Ah, let me it's in. Like, um. Yeah. Ha. No, you say no. Of course not. It's just. Yeah, not, I just made, I just made I don't care if it's long fuel. On my own. On my feet from 9 a.m. until like I'm getting out of here. Cooking. No, so, stop shooting at my okay. car. No, it's not a lot of work at all. Can we use all the way? Oh, okay. you got it. All, all, I, all, I had, uh, all I had to eat the entire time I was cooking all that was a tiny, teeny bowl of... No, I forget. I'm driving off the bridge. Once I did that, and then I had... Oh gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah, no wonder I'm in a bad mood. But Coca-Cola, like, if, if you're gonna have caffeine, then you want to have like tea because Coca-Cola Coca 
cola stuff and like soda. It makes me. It makes me no. Well, not just that. I mean, it, it messes with moods, but Man, soda like goes through you so that. quick, and it, it's kind of like it's it's not like uh, I wouldn't say it's tea. Tea is not like five hour energy, but it's like a more natural use of caffeine that seems Where's to last Terry? a little bit longer than over... oh, um, you know fun. some of the other stuff. I, I know this because I'm a tea drinker, and you know. Yeah, but soda is cheap. Soda is cheap, yeah. But I, I have a couple things of green tea a day, and I'm good for like five hours. Uh, if I really need like a quick like hey. wake up right now, which I'm doing, then I would you know I do the brisk. I mean, the spray. Like, Holy crap! Oh, I, I killed someone as soon as they blew me up. Wait, no, is it? Hang on. Uh, oh, I can't wait to see yeah. it. Almost, yeah, December 1st is next week. Holy crap, December 1st is next week. Wow. Wait, but I don't have any time. I know that. They should be respectful of your time. That's what you're you're trying to say, right? That your your time, they're not, they're thinking about no, them. Get out of my house. Oh crap, I completely missed that. Where did that guy come from? I was just trying to shop in Gateway thing, and then next thing I know, boom, shockwave. Oh, that wasn't a shockwave, that was a Patrick. That's a rocket launcher. Oh. Holy crap. Uh, it's not pleasant because, especially when stuff like this happens, it's like, oh my god, yeah, this is. Hey, hey, hey! Mm, get out of my stupid you sandwich, you stupid butthole! The whole phone call thing, your parents, and then bouncing you around other people, which you felt uncomfortable with. That's everybody who calls their family member for Thanksgiving or holiday. That's cool. Back. Yeah. You're lucky you don't. I mean, I'm lucky I don't. I've thought about ha. calling, like, nope. the Portuguese side of the family. Hey! But that phone call will probably last. You don't but, oh, oh my gosh, these guys are annoying. But, you know, grandma talk. Why? And yet I keep landing no, there. All, I, I told you, they all sound Italian. Like, they're, you know, uh, they all spoke Portuguese in, like, the 40s, 50s, and 60s. Um, and I think Goodbye. one of the oldest, like, Imagine. elders in our family is oh, I was grandma's about to say. 98 I was about to pull a trick shot. 96, 98. Peace out. And, uh... I, her brother and I'm out of was 80 something but, and then she has like her sister that's still around her sister Maybe. is 93 oh, I can't get in there yeah. I get it I'll destroy it so never yeah I was busy I destroying know, metal that was with my family like last time I don't remember what it was we, it was around we went up to to Christmas uh, three years in a row for them yeah, yeah. I've seen you well, one time when I was out with my family, I think it was around Christmas or something. They went to a diner, and my mom was like, "Oh yeah, we're all getting this special like Christmas ham or something." Uh -huh. And then, like, my brother got like I don't know, I, I don't know, fettuccine or something. Okay. Well, my mom was like super disappointed. Oh, because they all didn't share the wanted, ham. She wanted everyone to get the same. But if everybody gets the same thing, I mean, you're out at a restaurant. Those rules don't apply. Yeah. Well, today, like, especially I if they say order what you want. Yeah. Well, today I noticed. Like, yeah, it's literally the whole meaning of it is order what you freaking want. Something different than they got. Uh -oh. Uh oh. We lost this one. Uh oh. She, she clearly had disappointment in her voice, but she was like, "Well, you know, Dad and I got stuffing with this. It was Thanksgiving type stuff." And your brother got something else. Something else. And I something else. Done. I was just like, okay. She's like, I guess it was okay. But got something else. She's like, bum, here, bum, you bum. can talk to your brother now. And I was just thinking, oh, like, phone's whoa. passed off. I was just thinking, like, wow, he's in Seven trouble. eliminations. Does he not get these mental clues? Like, if she said that to me, run, I would be like, brother, run. If that was me, and I was like, I will order the. Thai, you know, flavored fish fajitas, and then she's like, and then my mom would give me the, 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 look, the look, and then the I was look. like, oh, I mean, I will order the ham with stuffing, of course. 
I'm just joking, Mom. I was just kidding. But, like, even if it costs less money, it's, like, it makes my mom happy if everyone orders. In. It doesn't have to be the same thing, but they have to order things within the same theme. Mm -hmm. Like, they have to, or, like, they have to all, and then when everyone gets something similar, she always looks at everyone's plate and smiles, and then she's, like, she's, like, isn't this crazy? We're all ordering Thanksgiving themed things. And it's like, right, because you're forcing everyone. No, <laughs> like, you're like, you expect everyone to. Like, I gotta have popcorn this was not for this by story. This is not by choice. Jump, jump. But what are you jump, supposed to jump. do? Like, ah, I, I ah, just feel ah, like my. Ah, I just feel like my. <laughs> Perfect, I got the carnage into the loading screen. Like, yeah, after this stream is done, or K Wing stream is done, I will react to Sapphire's and brand new song. She, she looks at him. Um, she looks at him. I was there. She looks at him and he's like, he's like, which oh, I'm, I'm excited for it. Just recently dropped. Rice, and then my mom just glares at him. And she, and he didn't change. He didn't change. She goes, <laughs> it's like the Ace State football game, Jaws. Or, well, it used to be. And I was like, oh my gosh, run! Everyone in the door! She's gonna blow! I was so afraid. I thought she was gonna leave over the table and strangle him. I didn't know what was gonna happen. Oh my gosh. And the whole time she's staring at him the entire dinner. And I was like, no. Like, she never stopped. Yeah. It visibly scared me. I know what I was Actually, no, I didn't. Yeah, my, my dinners were different. I, I'll tell you a story. When we um when we couldn't make it to Grandma and Grandpa's or any of my grandparents for Thanksgiving, we couldn't do Thanksgiving for living. I was hoping someone was going to mention Iron Man on a scooter. Um, and my mom wasn't around. My dad took us to McDonald's for Thanksgiving. And, uh, you know, we all ordered what we wanted, we sat down, and my dad was like, How's your burger? That's pretty good. How's the, your whatever that is? <laughs> I don't know what he was no. eating. It was McDonald's. Um, Perfect. And he just, you know, talked about the food. Just like, you know, he said a prayer. He said, dear Lord, thank you for this food. Thank you for my family. Please be with my wife in the hospital. And then we ate the burger. And that was <laughs> he it. didn't care? No. It didn't bother him that you were eating burgers on Thanksgiving? The only thing he had a, a little problem with is they gave me a girl toy in my Happy Meal. Bro! That's there. actually happened to me before. When I was a no, little kid, it actually, uh, the same thing happened. I got given a girl toy, and I'm like, um, like, well, I guess not gonna switch out your toys, so. that's not really going to um, work. You know, I tried. It's like, I don't really care if my sister wants it. She yes, there's the sky. Perfect. Why would they not switch it out if you asked? I don't know why they didn't. didn't open the package. Well, it was, it was near Troy, New York, and Troy, New York is kind of like someplace you don't want to be. Oh, so, boy. I mean, you know, this just is just a story. story. Why do you want this toy changed? Is there a problem with this pony? Well, yes, my, my it's for my son. Mm, does your son not like ponies? I'm just like, I was like 10 or 11. I feel like, no, I don't like ponies. I'm a yeah, guy. Yeah. So I, I forgot mean, you can't know. build in sideways. I, I was about to try to build up to get this like chest, but can't do that I sideways. The name of the Holy crap, was that it? Golden sub. For a second, I thought I seen a hand cannon. I was gonna be like, it's "Wait, since like, when?" I mean, we weren't we weren't dressed like very nice, like for you know going out. But my mom was in the hospital, so most of our money was going toward the hospital stuff. So, yeah, I, I remember it was pretty it was pretty intense. <laughs> it was, but um, yeah, most of the time, the only time I fell, things got kind of intense at Thanksgiving, which kind of shifted, was when my whole family would come. Like my my dad's side, and everybody would travel. I did, and they're the they're, like, they're fundies. So they would come from Nashville, which in the nineties well, Nashville happened. was super religious. Super. Did you actually just use that word online? I did. I did. I don't know if people know what fundies are, but they're fun. Death um, to the storm. Well, I consider your parents that. So. 
my I, I consider my parents light fundies compared to the rest of my like religious family. But anyway, they all come like in this. They they used to travel in this massive van. It was like uh, it looked like the Partridge family van that they would drive all the way from Nashville and whatever, and it would just you know. Uh, they would get over okay, that was arguments a little bit like, too far like, up for supply drop. So, um, you know, was there someone? It, it kind of made me miss just like the simple Thanksgivings that I had before, you know, all these like big family Thanksgivings. Because unfortunately, what happened, how the whole big family Thanksgiving started, is my grandpa, who you never met, he passed away. And then, since the family was scattered all over the place, like my dad's family, they had this brilliant idea to spend more time with each oh, crap, other. Crap, crap, so crap, they crap, crap, they scheduled times when they would see each other on the holidays. Like every year for 10 years, it was like this. Like they would either one year, everybody would go to my parents' house and my mom would have to cook like this massive Thanksgiving for like 20 people. And then uh, for Christmas, you would go to New York. And then for 4th of July, you would go all the way to Florida. And it was terrible because there'd be like so many people like here for the 4th of July. And it, it was just, you know, I, I liked things before my my first grandfather passed away because things were simple. Like everybody just kind of like ignored each other. And then when Poppy died, it was like that was. I will take that purple lever shotgun. All right, I stole this dude's supply drop. Right, I know. They were the ones that didn't want to do that originally. Right, when they didn't want to do it originally. That's that's why I said I like. Yeah, I would say so. That's why I said, like, I didn't like uh, my Thanksgivings. They were always kind of like, like everybody said, like, in the chat here, like, most people's Thanksgivings are really bad. Like, it just, like, people argue over either politics or they get into s stuff about, like, movies they don't like or whatever. It, it's, I, I think it's good when you, you see extended family, like, maybe every four or five years, sometimes. Uh, I think like when when I was a kid and I was seeing like basically them for ten years. I'm I'm still I'm still speaking. All right, fine. Thank you. Um, I I think that when we, we saw each other like, so hand. much, um, it just got to the point where it was just like you I'm know, not having normal just, gun, just in case. It. It, it was it was becoming like a tradition the that thing. nobody really wanted to the do. The construction thing. You know? So yeah, it's like right. Mine. <laughs> okay. Um, but it, it was really weird. So I liked, um, you can't say that for online. It, it's not bad. Um, it was annoying and it was, you know, the kids table, the dreaded kids table at Thanksgiving. <laughs> not the kids table. You know, not the kids table. You are of a certain age and whatever. And, you know, then yep. the kids would have to wash the dishes. Like, the oh my gosh. And like, that uh, part's never you know, happened upstairs, to me. The uncle would be like, you guys are playing Nintendo? Well, we're watching a movie. Let's go. I'd be like, but we're in the middle of something. He says, oh, you are? Walks over, turns off the game system. Oh, it looks like the game system shut off. We're watching White Christmas downstairs now. I'm just like, oh my gosh, this guy's not even my dad. What the heck? Um, so yeah, that was that was Thanksgiving for me for like 10 years until like, Yikes. I remember even when they came down, uh, before oh, I crap, I lost Amber, day away. I would dodge Thanksgiving. Found them. Like, if they all came down in their, like, you know, hippie bus or whatever, uh, I would basically, I would ask whatever job I was working to work a lot. Uh, and then I would just hang out with my cousin at night. Um, when I got back from work, because I was just like, after the age of 17, I was just like, nope, not doing this no more. And then I got sick and I, you know, I didn't have much of a choice because I was, I was living uh, places. So... But now it's like I I like Thanksgiving again because it's just me and Amber, you know we don't have to travel. Oh, Amber. Now because of the pandemic, it's just you and me. Otherwise, well, they're always gonna add things to me. like every family does. They always they always like ask people to come visit them and they miss. No, them. they didn't ask. Them. They called on the phone and said they were disappointed that we weren't there. Me, like I'll show you how you destroy a tree. No. Use a sky. Holy crap! Holy crap, I actually killed him okay. with the sky. You don't have to leave. Okay, alright. So yeah, that's that's why uh you know that's that's why holidays and things are just kind of like 
not something we talk a lot. Yeah, about. my house. Um, but that's cool to hear your guys's, you know, stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> but like I forgot I about this. For Amber Whoops. I, I like um, the small things that Amber and I do a lot better. Um, there's really usually no stress involved. We just hang out, and uh, Amber has gone out of her way to just. Uh, I never asked her to get better at cooking because you know as a guy you just eat the eat the wife's meal and you're like oh yeah either it's good or it's not but you don't tell them it's oh good. crap but this Amber is then fun. went to cooking school and now like three she was kind of inspired things. by uh my mom's side of the family like who went and he became a chef in new york city and uh, one year um i don't remember why i think it was like right before my my other grandfather passed away he invited us over to his what? dad's house and he cooked Thanksgiving for us. And, you know, it was kind of like he was um, Bobby Flay or like one of those, you know, chef oh, guys. Yeah. And um, baby, it was at the time oh, the best Thanksgiving meal I ever had. Uh, and this was my little cousin. This was this was a kid that I, you know, held in my arms uh, when I was 10, 10 or 11 years older than him. You know, and he was. I just got third kid. party by stupid idiot. You know, not long after that, my wife um, wanted Crap, Eric, that's not Kayla. Uh, wanted to go do the, the food thing, so um, we did what we could, and we got hey, to, the, to the culinary academy that was in this area of Pennsylvania, and uh, she really liked it. She was really good at it, and the past couple of years that she's cooked, it's been amazing, like just completely great. Uh, difference over you know, guys at the water cooler. You know, if you went to a regular job and joked about, oh, you know, my wife's cooking, it's like now it's like, oh my gosh, uh, Ew, so get wrecked. Say is like, but wow, sky. you know, um, I always take pictures of, of her cooking now, and I yes, I got it on social media because it's like, okay, now I can really use good. Normal weapon. Um, she was also explaining to me all the stuff that you're supposed to do with the turkey and um, all the, all the things that growing up that. Uh, my family did with turkey and stuff like that. It was kind of. Uh, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Like the, oh, the turkey what? was. It always expired faster, and I feel like the way that Amber cooks stuff now. Here we go. Um, she understands oh. it better and safer. So I mean, the the turkey was super soft, and it was easy for me to chew. No, oh, and now uh, with the bang, it, although it, it counted like for them somehow. Either too dry or too. It was just, plan. It's just perfect, and it, it's, it wasn't Goodbye. a big turkey either. It was like a turkey breast type thing, or whatever they call it. I don't know, but it, it was almost like slow roasted in the oven, and then, uh, then she cooked it just enough so it was not. I, I don't even know the terms to use, but um, I was just. She was asking me. She was like, "How was the meal?" And I was I thinking back. You. I was like, "It it reminds me of something." Yeah, that, that tree. Really good. Years They're ago, not Georgia the York. jungle. No, you're just a default. Like okay, the, the, you know, the sweet potatoes are really good. The, the turkey's really good. Yeah, but well, uh, the mashed I potatoes twice. are, you know, just wow. Uh, I don't understand. And it's like, and then she was like talking about, she was like, well, you know, I actually did this Thanksgiving a lot faster than I have done the other ones. Uh, because, you know, the first couple times that she tried to cook it, 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 it she would cook it the night before. Uh, today she got up at like, I don't know, I think nine or 10 in the morning. She had everything done by uh, probably six o'clock, and everything was, this. you know, Hello. the right amount of time. She's got all her uh, cooking measurement thingies from her culinary days. These really fancy things that you put into the turkey and the. I think it re um, checks temperature or something to see if everything is cooked up. So you know, yeah, get, sir, like, get out of my door. So I mean, yeah, um, and. Then she was like, for next year, I want to see if I can do it even faster. Because she only cooked um, today. Karma. Like, we'll say like 9.30 in the morning until like around 6.30. And, uh, probably 6 o'clock in the afternoon. We ate, we ate like around, uh, we started eating probably around 6, uh, 45, 6.50. And then it took from that amount of time until the other stream that we did, the, uh, the football stream. I think the football stream started at 8.15, 8.20, and we had already, like, 
put stuff away and things like that. Like we, she had. Yeah, Tupperware, there's a literal default stuck um, in a tree, rent. and I just go. Or after after Thanksgiving was done, like nobody likes Thanksgiving cleanup, right? So Amber has a system in place where she puts all the stuff in Tupperware. Direct. Like, and it's it's almost kind of like a little station. So not only that, but you know how like it's such a pain to to clean up on Thanksgiving too. Like the the pots and pans Goodbye. are really dirty and stuff like that. One of the fast ways that she cooks the oh, stuff. Oh, holy crap! Um, he's got one too. Or keeps it. Oh yeah, no. Like, well, you know, people are waiting to sit down at the table, even though it's only two of us. Um, is she? She I'm takes the food out of the pot or the pan that she's cooking the in, and then she puts it in a, a pan that's um, laid out with tin foil, and then she puts the food on top of the tin foil, and it, it keeps the, the food hot. Then she puts, like, until people are ready to eat, meaning me, she puts the like, tin foil Direct. on the top, and it keeps the heat in. And she said that's something she learned when she was Oh, in. where the crap, you stupid spammer! Eating, oh like, my gosh. I don't know, 6 15, 6 o'clock. It was still oh, pretty crap. Warm. Where's it was still pretty hot. And it stayed like that the entire like uh yeah, love your food, honey. But then um <gasps> so she did that, then afterwards with the Tupperwares, like usually I could tell you horror stories of, of cleanup at Thanksgiving. Cleanup at there Thanksgiving, is. it almost felt like my my uncle Ron was like this um uh jail jail warden and having people like come into the dish pit and like you know hey. um, you, you sing like the oreo cookie song from wizard of oz or something everybody's doing the dishes and there's grime everywhere and the pots are all messed up because you know they've been cooking overnight and things like that i just kept but okay. um amber's method if it would have been possible to incorporate that 10 years ago the whole like you know cleaning up the the kitchen and doing the, the dishes um, would probably only take about 15 minutes and I got the pickaxe four hours in a, a kitchen that um, does not have such air back in the 90s. Holy crap, I got uh, a bunch of stuff. The window does not open uh, correctly so that it's Next like... Year I'm gonna put everything in this this year I, just put a few I know, you just put a few, but Next still... All of it's for I Cube Queen. It, it, only, it only took like... Um, for, for us to like put away the food instead of it taking hours, like you had the um, the Tupperware stuff ready, like your little Tupperware station for the, the turkey, the um, I had one big Tupperware that had the, the flat Tupperware that had the turkey and the veggies. Yep. And then, then the rest I just need ten more battle stars and I can get the, the other version of Carnage. Well, I don't think anybody cares. Story time. One Tupperware for the one Tupperware for the green bean casserole. One for the potatoes um one for the um potato sweet potato casserole and then a tiny tupperware for the uncle ben's rice tiny tupperware for the gravy and then i put the the uh the uh what do you call it um cranberry sauce in a bag and yeah like everything was completely cleaned up and I'm gonna be practicing. So yeah, after K after I get done playing with K Wing, I'm going to react to Sapphire's new song, which has so just released. Once I do that, I'm at least here in Central Razor. Time Zone. So we're gonna have that for like months. But that can stay in the freezer for like three months, like after it's cooked. I'm pretty sure I can look it up. I would prefer you look it up before, like. Well, basically, I already have 28 freezer bags. So once once I cook the. And once you actually get the bones... Iron Man in a rover. But so if you cook that entire turkey oh, carcass, oh, the this time. then basically you take the bones, you can make that into turkey or... You, well, if you have a bones of a chicken, you can make that into chicken noodle soup because the healing factor of a chicken noodle soup is not in the chicken, it's in the bones. Yeah, on the first um, four we got so Iron the, Man, yeah. Nick Fury, Doctor Doom, and Captain, Captain America. But it goes for any kind of bird, so... Uh, yeah, they still haven't made a Hawkeye skin, although it's rumored to happen because of the new TV series on Disney+. Plus. I've seen the first two episodes. It's really good. I actually recommend it, the Hawkeye series on Disney+. Plus. 
So with Amber's little Tupperware station, like it, it took, take it didn't, it didn't take off. that long to clean up because so Zelda, Zelda was like, you know, trying to get out of the basement so she could get up and eat. Basically, we got rid of all the stress of Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. Purple right sideways the minigun. Gun. Amber, Amber says that I get ready to die, enemies. It's not. I was just pressing the X button, and occasionally, like, I would hit some oh, other. Crap, I, I, didn't even know. I got, I got a little mad at Luke after. I, I didn't I didn't even know the turbo button because I, I was like I, I was trying to play the game the way that um NFL Blitz used to be played. Like yeah. on the Oh my gosh. Well I played the PS2 one. To learn how to cope everything correctly. Of NFL I Blitz. I feel like people in my family are just gonna be like, Oh well, yeah, you can just handle all this and we'll come to your house and Oh like, crap, I need a fishing rod. I won't even appreciate so I'm try to fish to catch to some more like, new fish. I don't I mean, know. No it's sense, just weird. It's. I guess idea. I find it weird. Because I want to try to get the fish that style like, of ball tuna, tuna fish or tuna like, fish. Being that... like, oh, I could just come to your house and you can cook for me. And I'm just thinking, like, because, like, I guess this is just how it is, but it's just. It's weird. It's. It's like one thing to cook for my own husband, but it's like if somebody else who's not a member of my family unit is going to come to like you work really hard for all the money that i needed to spend on the groceries to get the stuff thank you but it's like somebody else coming to my house i would assume they would like bring pie or try to help me with something like they're just going to show up and i'm going to cook for them like that's why i was telling luke like okay okay here we go so a turkey is like twenty to forty dollars, depending on how big it is. You get, you know, you're gonna buy a bag of potatoes. That's five dollars. Um, all the stuff you need for green bean casserole. That's like four dollars oh, well, plus two cans I, I'll of take that. Uh, uh, whatever. That's two dollars. I'll take a blue auto plus sniper. You get the frontiers, that's gonna be another five dollars. That's like oh, seven eight dollars okay. right there. I'm just saying, this adds up. So I'm just saying you should just charge people fifty dollars. Uh, I'll, I'll, you can't do every that. Every person that comes to Thanksgiving, charge them fifty bucks. You can't do that though. So you should though. You you sh I mean. And then the labor involved, like send them a bill. Like, oh my god. The labor involved what? and like. Oh my god. When you go to culinary school, they say that you're. When you go to a restaurant, you're paying for the expertise of how much that person went to school to I, learn I how to cook. I, you can't. So actually, I can uh, bill them. Oh my God. For my expertise on knowing how to cook it and my time. That Just actually like an makes engineer no sense. Would on a car. I don't, don't really see why someone could show up to my house and get food for free and then oh I work Oh my God. They should have to be, it should be 50 Okay, what That's just what exploded? I, I mean, it, That's it, what I think should be happening here. It's worth it that but i don't think people would come over very much right i don't care if they came over if they don't want to pay 50 dollars oh, i'd rather selfish. eat at home myself i don't want to go ahead and take anything. it oh my gosh now i've learned to work this hard and cook it for myself i don't want to cook for anyone except for myself nobody else deserves it also like then if a bunch of people are going to come you're, to my you're house just, you just said yourself so uh, that means i have to pay 50 dollars a plate no you no, you live here. You don't have to pay the bills to leave. You're my husband. Okay, you're going to have to rephrase that, though. Because it's I'm just saying, like, like that yourself. Yourself. Then if that's true, then I will have to cook for everyone. Then after they leave, then I'm cooking it again for myself after they leave. Because they're going to eat all my food and then leave. I'll be left with nothing. They just ate all my food. And didn't don't you dare. Eat. Yes. I did find that interesting. I need one so more. Back in the day, fish. when the, the whole big fam would come. Uh, out of your as boat. soon as the food was gone, they would leave. Like it, it seems like they they planned being around for these big Thanksgivings just long enough so that there would be no leftovers for more than a day or two, and then gone. So they come two days before Thanksgiving. Then there's Thanksgiving, the day after Thanksgiving, and or I sorry, Black Friday, and then the day after Black Friday, they're already leaving. Also, and then there's no if leftovers. If you have family over, you should. Plan that in the meal. Like, you should make oh, yeah. Thanksgiving and pancakes for Thanksgiving and pumpkin muffins. Like, you should be making food for the week so you don't have to cook at all. Like, what I don't like is when you go to somebody's house for Thanksgiving, everyone's stressed. They're like, like, for instance, no offense, but like, going to your mom's house, she's super stressed because 
she's i remember thing i remember being around her she's like oh my gosh family's coming over and now i'm gonna have to learn she's like how am i gonna feed them for all this time i have to go get Dunkin' donuts i have to buy this i have to buy this it's like but you're feeding them a huge thanksgiving meal exactly Just make extra pies if they are hungry they can eat pies on the couple days before let them eat pie i would <laughs> buy Dunkin donuts i agree in addition let to them your eat pie. Now. holy crap I just they, they you know. way too much money. You can't just make extra pie or extra. See what happens when you just send you down something. Thing. Thing. Start making it two days in advance. Start I'm okay. Pumpkin muffins. Put them in the fridge, Woo. make the pies, and then if they're like, oh, yeah, this one. I don't need breakfast. I am hungry and I'm here at your house. Holy crap! I get all the way up to near the cube queen. Wow. That was nice. I'll take that. Oh my gosh. What? Just to make muffins and pies, that's all you need. Oh crap. If that's not enough, like muffins are very easy. It's like cheap flour, sugar. Oh crap. I have an idea. You don't need to go to Dunkin' Donuts and buy oh, people extra food. Um, did he just blow himself up? I think he just blew himself up. You know, $50 and then feed these people. It's like, they don't need that. You just give them what you already have in your fridge. If you have some carrots, give them carrot sticks. Don't go buy extra things for them. Why aren't they buying you food? You're the one cooking. Mm. They should go be going to the store and buying you food. That's true. You know what it felt that like? It felt like those big Thanksgivings was kind of like a um a bed and breakfast. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Like you had all these people in your house. And then they don't pay for it. Right, and they don't pay for it. They're there, they eat all your food. That's then, why uh, my fifty dollars a plate thing. Well, that order. just happened. Yeah, I could definitely see that as because And then you say you're doing Holy crap. for charity, but then lie and then take it for yourself. <laughs> Oh, there he is! You can't Got him. That. Oh my gosh! Oh, wow, wow. It is a charity. It's a charity of a very overworked Holy crap. person who just provided food for people that didn't pay Hit. for it. That's the Thank charity. you for staying on my grill. Somebody who has no food left in their fridge because 15 people came and invaded their house. It's, it's, it's a charity for Whoops. starving Whoops! My person. stock worked daily. To work for nothing. That's you. <laughs> Whoops. That's oh, charity. crap. Hey! They're providing. Yep. I mean, I... I Call yeah. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to explain to you how I'm going to do this Thanksgiving. Yeah, at my house. So you know how or, people are always well. like, oh, you're not at my house. You don't love me. Oh, I, uh, I, don't, I don't think that you have Oh, we got a bounty, work, even apparently. Even though I see you streaming eight hours a day online. All right. Problem solved. I've already ordered two... Things of dried fruit from Amazon. They will be arriving any day now. I will be wrapping them and then writing. Oh crap! I got Holy crap! Cards, and it will say, Hope you had a wonderful That default just appeared from out of nowhere. <laughs> you, so you bottle. Like Ten dollars for a McDonald's card for my parents and a little chocolate thing, and that is their Thanksgiving gift. That makes them feel guilty that they didn't get me a Thanksgiving gift. Oh my god. Now, Why would you get someone on Thanksgiving they and get They are on the chopping block. Now they have to feel like they're not good enough. And then watch this. Now wait and listen. Wait and listen. Oh boy. Right when they start to feel weird or guilty, like Goodbye. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't have me. Like, no problem. I just want to let you know how much I love you. So that negates them from being like, oh, you didn't show up at my house. I get got you fruit, so that proves that I love you more than you love me. You're worthless. You're the loser. You're the bad family member. You're the one who's not good enough. Ha ha! Anyway, <laughs> <that>. like, wow. <laughs> that was dark. When comes, when I mean, wow, real dark. I'm the fly. Now it proves you don't owe them anything. This is how much you're worth for Christmas. 
a freaking card. That means I give you a gift when I feel yep, like Yeah, that's right. A, a freaking card. A gift, you don't get nothing. And that's how it's happening. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's called... Wait, crap, I lost They're not going to know what's going Hold on. on. <laughs> Unless okay. they watch this... Uh, and they right this behind thing. me. St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to give them like a gold spoon and be like, Luck of the Irish be with ya, here be some gold. What? And then they'll be like, what? I didn't know St. Patrick's Day was a gift-giving day. It's and not. Then, like the next, the next holiday that comes around when they hey, give me a gift, I'll be you're like, standing with oh, that thing. Yeah, sorry, don't celebrate All right. that holiday. When I do celebrate St. Patrick's Day, why didn't you give me a gift for St. Patrick's Day? What's wrong with you? Gosh, Amber. <laughs> then I'll call them on oh, wait, the phone. Like, come to visit me for St. Patrick's Day. I made you soda bread. I'm so disappointed. Here's your soda bread. Why don't I throw it in your face? What? Oh, what did I want? Got him. To invite people over. My what did you walk into? Well, you didn't want to call her. Uh, holy crap. Better question is, what did I walk into? Yes, so thing. anyway. So pretty much Holy crap. um cleanup was a snap because when you took the tinfoil out of the pots and pans, like the things that we were used like Amber used to bake the food, right? Thanks, Richard. Correct. Yeah. So when when you took that stuff out, um you're thinking, oh my gosh, because these Oh, I just got third party by a stupid food idiot food with a food Patrick that's a rocket launcher. What? Commercials for dishwashers um, that would target like Thanksgiving. So you You're had right. like all hey. these horrible dishes like left over from the big Thanksgiving. You feast. Like, oh, that's the same you know, person. No, the same that. Patrick that's a rocket launcher. Um, what we do is you have the, the tin foil, which already keeps the food really warm. Then when you're done distributing the food into the Tupperwares and the freezing things, and that's all taken care of. Holy crap. Then you're right. you just take tinfoil out of the pans that was used to cook it mm -hmm. and there is hardly any residue left over from cooking then you just pop the stuff in the dishwasher and you took a four-hour cleaning job and did it in 10 minutes that yeah, that is did, that is the problem what? Of handling Thanksgiving. when i handed you the dishes you were like wait these dishes were used it's like they barely look yep. like they were used yep bruh oh, it's so cool it's hilarious that oops well like a lot of people like they get their dishes all grimy and crusty to the point where they have to soak for Holy hours crap. in the sink mm -hmm. but then they use paper plates to quote unquote save on dishes uh, this is not very logical yeah, at all yeah, 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 if you that. really wanted to I'm save trying to have Kevin back here it, tin foil and then just use regular plates but someone took real my job crust we would that's right Oh, yeah, you're I'm not going to the second. I'm not. The, the other dishes you used were in the oven for an hour with, 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 with potatoes crusted all over it. That's what you need to actually serve. With the tinfoil on the baking dishes. What's wrong with this people? Makes sense. Oh, what is this? We want your feedback. Do you feel the following item is too weak, just right, or too strong? Spicy fish? <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Um, so, I'll leave this to you guys. Um, we want your feedback. So, I want your feedback. Fortnite players, spicy fish. What's your rating? Um, I'd What's say a four. Rating for spicy fish. I want to do this, but I would just like to know what people. I don't know. So I we saw, got some threes. I saw Hanukkah cards in the grocery store today, and I was thinking, I should just send this to all my family members and make them feel bad that they're not celebrating Hanukkah. Okay. Richard with the super chat. I love when Amber rants about stuff, and Luke is just like, anyway. Funny thing. <laughs> anyway. Thank you, Richard. Oh, my gosh. Thank you for the super chat, Richard. You're breathtaking. All right, it looks like we're getting a lot of fours. 
Getting some threes and fours. Right now the fours are winning. We got a three again. So it's it's between three or four. Three or four for the vote for spicy fish. Bye, Amber and Luke. Have a good one, Timmy. See you tomorrow. Bye, Timmy. Uh, play Skyrim, Luke. Uh, I don't want to play Skyrim tonight. I'm going to sleep after I do another load of dishes. I mean, there's no... The rants are hilarious, says uh, Timothy. Thank you, Timothy. You're amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome. All right, so... Thank you, guys. It looks like if... if I'm wrong in this. It looks like it was a tie between three and four. So I'm going to do the tiebreaker, which would be three. Oh, wait. Did I do it right? You know it, Luke. Did I do it right? When they get that Thanksgiving dried fruit, they're going to be like, oh, I didn't send them anything. That's what they, you know what? I know because I've been near my family and yours. And I've been near them when they get a gift. And they always do that. Mm. And I've been there other people like that, too. I've been there older people, like in school, teachers and stuff. When they get a gift from someone and they didn't send something, they always go, oh, my gosh, I didn't send them anything. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's why I should make up random holidays. Happy Earth Day! Here's a gift! <laughs> you didn't give me gifts on Earth Day? What? You didn't give me an Earth Day gift? How dare you? How dare you? I'll probably make a video of actually reacting to the song. Maybe. Oh my gosh, Amber. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I've already, like, after Thanksgiving, my stomach was so bloated that it's like, I'm actually looking forward to pie later. Probably gonna have a little bit of pie. Gonna, I've gotten so many. I got the um, game. Like, the summer oh loving so screen at first. Midsummer Midas, um, Beach Pixar Jewels, gave me, like the, the football thing from 2019. Summer Ruby, or, like, um, all the summer skins Steelers from the versus, summer, whatever. I don't remember, but that video this morning I put together eight shorts of that football thing. Oh, it was wow. it was some of the most funniest stuff that I heard. Like the pink slip thing, we're also freaking out because we're calling the game sentient because at one point you and I are just like <laughs> talking and then all of a sudden the announcers are like, and the Thanksgiving game continues and we're like, ah! <laughs> because there was no option to say that it was Thanksgiving. Oh my God. The, the game knew. <laughs> That's actually happened with NCAA yeah, football. Right, when the PS2 yeah, games, it does that. Like, And we're like, how in the world does he know it's Thanksgiving? Then he continues to talk about Thanksgiving. And it was like, but we thought we were just playing an exhibition game. So that became a short. Then you had, um, we were complaining about like the, the kicking of the game. Oh, like, hey, like, Luke. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry. Going so, I mean, I have at least like six or seven but more of that, like 2019. Did, did you know that some football? of the people I worked with in Massachusetts, mm. they did do Thanksgiving dinner and some of them did charge their family to come. Oh, so that's how you okay? Yeah, it's that's a Massachusetts thing. Like oh. they actually would charge their family like thirty dollars, thirty four dollars. That makes no oh, sense. My mom though. was smart and she did that. Then. She should have, and then they wouldn't come as much. Yeah. What they do is they go. I ask that you please do a donation of thirty four dollars to help cover the cost of all the food mm. per person. Yep. Because it can be a lot. Oh yeah, because you're feeding people for like. Four or five days. I mean, you can be spending three to five to seven hundred dollars on food, depending on how many people you're making it for. And there's a lot of things that can happen. Like your pet could get out because people are being careless. You could have like, you know, people uh, <coughs> open a window somewhere when you have the heat running, and that can increase your heat bill. There's all kinds of things that can happen that yeah. don't normally happen when it's just you know. But what I family. would do is like if I had people coming over make all the food that everyone's going to eat all week in advance, like the muffins, whatever breakfast food, it's all in the fridge. Then they can't be like, I'm hungry. I want you to go to a $600 Dunkin' Donuts run. Be like, yeah, well, if you have 600 bucks, go do that yourself. Mm. That's slight exaggeration. That's a big I'm just saying like, I'm, I want you to go get me Dunkin' Donuts for $12. It's but like, 
No, I already have food in the fridge. I made if, muffins. If my mom and dad approached Thanksgiving 10 years or 15 years ago now, or actually, no, 20 years ago now, um, then uh, probably but wouldn't have been such a nightmare. Also, then you don't have to be like, oh, thankful for, then you don't have to act like you're thankful, like they're giving you a gift because it's not a gift. You're asking for help covering the cost of the food. It's a normal fee. Don't then you don't have to be like, oh wow, thanks so much for giving me money. No, they're not giving it to you. You're demanding it. They better pay the money or they're not coming through the door. The best part of old Thanksgiving was getting to hang out with my cousin. Um, but like year after year it was always the same thing. Like they'd watch the same movies, they'd play board games, they would yell at each other. And it's just like as soon as I was able to drive, I just didn't want to be home. Like I was just like, no. But how come they didn't do it at their house and have your family come back? They did have weird stuff. We would go down for 4th of July, and that was terrible. What? Did they make the food? Oh, yeah. Made the food, and they had rules for how long people could be in the pool. They didn't have their air conditioner very low. Um, their air conditioner was at, like, 75 when it was, like, 100 degrees outside. Um, yeah. Uh, it was... Uh, they, they would do things like we have activities planned and they would take us on a boat oh, ferry oh, and no, i got i got super yes i got super sick on the activity See, that, that's why i'm worried about my brother coming because he he instead of just like hanging out like he's like me you know when we have friends over and they're like let's just hang out and i'm just thinking like yeah we usually just watch anime and i'm just thinking whatever. like okay so what do we do next guys do you know the plan what are we going to do today and they're just like we're just hanging out just and i'm hanging always out. like yeah. well, what should we do next and they're just like we're just hanging out yeah so i and my brother are the same in that way where it's like if he comes over he's just like okay well what are we doing today it's like we're just hanging out and he doesn't know what that means i don't know what hanging out means neither does my brother yeah. So if my brother is here, literally, I will have to have every day planned out in what we're gonna do. Yeah, I can see that's, that. That's yeah. why I. Yeah. That's why I'm really nervous about him coming because, like, it's like I don't have any plans. There's, I, I just, I have nothing. Literally, the only thing I would, my, in my mind, the best version is him just sitting quietly reading a book while I sit here for eight hours doing my job. Now that's the type of family I would, or family I'd love to have visit. Just like, okay, well, I'll just sit does here their reading. own thing. You meet up for you know a meal occasionally, say hi to each other, maybe hug good night, and that's it. They're here. You feel them around. But that's what I did when I visited my aunt and uncle in Pennsylvania. I was in their house. Oh, your aunt and uncle are so. Cool. I was in their house, and they were working all day, and yep. then they came home. My aunt. Whoa! Yep. Whoa! Saying, what's wrong with this boat? Very common. Like, well, what if, the crap is wrong with that really boat? Like, oh. It was just like, flipping all over the place. Like, when I was on the phone, it's... I was like, I had to cook all day. And he's like, oh. And I'm like, well, I have a lot of time, like, but I don't have a lot of time. Maybe not. Like, oh. it's like, yeah, it's, I'm getting out of the boat. Me, that right? thing is cursed. Trying to get me Hashtag to cursed boat. Oh, Kevin okay, um, died. It's not oh, oh I'm glad I have a job. I don't want to be homeless. What is oh? Like, what's wrong with me working? Oh, oh, oh. This is this is what I don't Whoa. understand. Okay, I'm just gonna Please don't homeless. tell me oh, that there's a homeless. boat in the sideways. But, okay, so I'm working. Oh myself, crap! Nope, you know, never mind. Way too hard or and then you know people, and then my family is always like. So then, then they're, you know, not working very hard, working wherever they work, you know, and, and then they have all these time off. Oh, my job gives me all these days off, blah, 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 blah. And then <clears> after <throat> that, then they get, you know, then they get laid Oh, off. I just hit the building on fire if I blow myself up. And then they're just like, oh, my gosh, I, I'm, oh, it's so hard. I really need to find a job. This is so difficult. It's like, well. You probably could find a job that would never lay you off. It would be a job that would give you no days off. If you work a job that gives you tons of days off, they probably don't need you very much. Oof. But if you work a job that gives you tons of days off, like you're just like, oh, look at me sitting for 
pretty high on cloud nine. Okay, I can nice. just show up while sitting at work when I feel like it. My job's not hard. You know, nobody cares oh! if, I, if I show up or not. I just waltz in there and put a smile on my face. And but I have the high ground. But it's just <laughs> it's like, but then the it's over, and I can and I have like, the high ground. Oh my god! Apparently, you underestimated that person's power. I'm sorry, but if, if he was here and he was like, I need something to do, it's like, uh, whoa, the Amish community, like 40 minutes from here. Hey, like, hey, Fox. what the crap? I just got aimbotted. Like See you later. Holy I crap. Like <laughs> okay, this is why it's hard for me. Like, if somebody's over the age of 18, I can't treat people like, like, for instance, a grandma or a mom or aunt showing up. Yeah. And they're just kind of like expecting me to entertain them. I can't be like, here's a Game Boy, play this in the corner because they're over 18, they're an adult. Cow then... tipping. But it's just like, Cow tipping. I don't know what to do. It's like, that's what I don't understand by all these people. Like, oh, look at me. My job always gives me days off when I ask and all this. And I have the best job in the world. And then they get laid off and then they're just like, oh, look at me. I'm so overqualified and it's so hard for me to find a good job. It's like, well, I mean, if you tried working hard, then maybe, never mind. It's just like, Goodbye. nothing. It's just like, if you work at a job that's like basically destroying your life. Direct. And treating you like garbage, and every time you try to take a day off, they're like, nah, you have to come in. Oh, like, I knew it. That's the kind of job I that knew you're it. probably not Soul apart every day you're there, which is called hard work. So uh, that uh, uh. basically a job that makes you hate it every single day. Holy crap! Oh my god, Jim! Oh crap! That's the sky. You butthole! You! I just got third party. I just got a third party. Yeah, speaking of what like, sucks, game third party though the freaking time. We're not winning this one. I can get through the. Woo! Oh well, that did not go as planned. If he came, there are things that he could do in this area by himself. Yeah, see, I would do that, but you don't. You don't have to be like Miss Travel Guide and and you know be like the, the guy that Rio goes to visit and is like. Yes, I would like a boat trip. Oh, great. We're going to plan out your entire trip for you going to Goodbye. Hong Kong. But the, Imagine. But see, I just need the ticket. But see, here is my thing. Okay? You're, not a, you're not a Here's my guy. thing. If my family comes to visit me, I'm supposed to oh, like entertain them and do every single thing, including make the muffins or anything. Hey, hey, and hey. Like, Thank you. It's just just like, okay, well, store. When you needed me to help you with something, I had to, to basically leave everything uh, I I have, basically take time off work when I couldn't afford it, and help you with all this stuff. But then when I'm actually having an actual problem, holy crap, holy crap! You're just completely gone. There's people so like why everywhere. This is what makes me not want to help people. This is what makes me not want to help people. This is why. You see. I'm thinking of times where I actually needed people and they just pretended that they didn't care if I lived or died in a ditch. So at this point, I'm just like, well, why should I give you a tour of Amish country? You know, why should I? I mean, that's why I just, I want to have as little contact. If, if people were my family, then they would literally, when I told them I was having financial problems, and I didn't know if I was going to be homeless or not because I was having so much problems with the IRS. Then if somebody told me that, I would be sending tons of money. I would be driving over. I would be coming, helping them do dishes, trying to help take workload off of them. I would be driving towards them, trying to help them. Nobody did that. Before. I'll crack them out of the car. Nobody hey! Nobody. 
You're a butthole! Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm freaking that is my I don't have any I'm not and we're not winning These anyways. other people are considered family like by blood, but me. if I die, they wouldn't care. So it doesn't matter. Like it's just a ah. it's just going through the motion. It's just like okay, we're thankful Holy for you. Holy crap! I'm I think I just thunder too, bumped them. Except for when I needed your help, you weren't there. But okay. Get right. Sure. Do you know how much I've sacrificed? <laughs> Exactly. Oh yeah, so Amber is Green Goblin. So it's kind of like, okay, well, we love you, I love you too. It's like, well, if love means you wouldn't care if I lived or died, if I needed help, then I guess that's what love means. Ooh. Holy know. crap. Oh. I was doing so good. I got a double now elimination. I, just it around too. I love you so much. I wish I was there. Really? I'd love to come over next week. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just I was what? hoping for a thunder pump. You stupid oh, spammer. <laughs> just left. But I really wish I knew, and I love you so much. I'm just like freak it. Well, well placed there, Thomas. I'm really good. Thomas. We're losing anyways. Uh, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm different. I have the the Kazuya and Hayachi approach. It's like you know, Ka uh, Hayachi had like you know. A different approach to dealing with family uh when they bored him and you know they weren't pulling their own weight he threw them into a volcano so in my sense would be like if they need certain activities to do i would one leave them a coloring book in crayons or two i just i just need more about and i can get the uh of, of the area the and i give it to them and be like this wait you won't actually do that because i've done that to my parents when my parents came to this area <clears throat> it's like i'm busy i'll meet you for lunch and if you need something to do here's this is what's going on and, and they did it and that's how you know wow. yeah it was pretty simple well the thing is that i'm really glad is that oh, I, don't, I don't know why everyone of you guys in this area in amish country there are several amish places that do amish theater and there is one place that sells tickets never mind i can't someone's in there three hundred dollars a person and the performances are five hours long every time i'm not kidding you and this is like i don't know 40 50 minutes away from us or something so this is some kind of famous place um, or whatever. I'm pretty sure uh, you're in the soccer room. That's who you, your character is. Ready like, up. Oh my gosh, you guys live near this famous place. We have to go. It's like, why? Because you drove here. Do I suddenly have 80 to $300 and randomly have five hours of free time to watch a stupid Amish production? Why oh. would why would I magically have this? Oh, Amber, back. I'm just saying, like, why does everyone think that I would want to go to this oh, stupid show? Oh no, Amber, no. Why though? Oh my gosh, no. Why? Why do they think I have five hours <coughs> to sit there? The views of K Wing's Let's Plays do not necessarily uh, reflect that of Amber K Wing. Oh my gosh. Oh no, 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 no. I'm just saying, like. If the production is good, that's great. But I do not have eighty to three hundred dollars to blow and five hours of my time that I will never get back. Oh boy! If I want to watch something bad, I'll go watch an Adam Sandler movie at the movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> Holy crap! Oh, oh, stop! Oh, I can't take any more. That's too. That's too savage. Oh, garbage people. They work so hard in those theaters too. Oh my gosh. Oh, RIP Mennonites. RIP Amish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Never no. Oh, thank you so much for the super chat, Saber Wolf. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Thank you so much for the super chat, Saber Wolf. Happy Thanksgiving. <coughs> oh. You're breathtaking. Team Amber. Oh my gosh. Team wow. You, you get a medal. <laughs> the Amish people are sad all because of what Amber said. That's okay. They don't have the internet. They don't have to hear me. They don't. Oh I mean, that should be the next villain in Indiana Jones. <laughs> they need a villain that won't get offended. They always use the brown shirts. Uh, Here's a new villain. Amish people. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Make the Amish the people that are going after the Holy Grail. The 
Amish duke it out with Indiana Jones. They use their pitchforks. They're fighting over it. Like, literally. Literally, they could be the new villain because they won't get offended because they don't have the internet. Oh, my God. Yeah, they don't know what canceling is. I'm just saying. You're like, just it saying. would be wrong. It would be rude because they're mostly but very I'm, nice. But I'm just saying, like, at least, like, if pe- if there are people like that, because there are people that Mystique, when they come to at? a touristy area, they're like, oh, um, well, okay. is there a lot of stuff to do? It's like, yeah, here, this is a little pamphlet. Yeah, I haven't done like, any of this. Go. Why do they think that I want to go? Like, they drove all the way here. They're like, oh, look at me. I'm blowing $3,000 here, $5 million here. No, we don't. I have don't. some kind of van. She's I'm exaggerating. I don't, I don't have family members that have that much money. Seems oh like my they gosh. do. No. How can you eat Dunkin' Donuts every day and not be a billionaire? Dunkin it costs at least seven to ten dollars a day. Dunkin' Donuts every day <clears> for thirty <throat> days would come out to be about four hundred dollars. That is a tremendous amount of money. That's not millions. Though. But that is you would have to be you blow four hundred dollars a month. Oh crap. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Garbage coffee. No, no, no offense, but they've already shown what kind of ingredients are in it. I'm just saying. You're going to get us sued by Dunkin' Donuts now. I am just saying. Wow. Wow, Amber. Wow. It has GMOs in it. It might actually be less. It might be less than $400 a month. It's familiar. Ah, my God. It's true. Living in an Amish paradise. Just saying. Amber is so savage and not very nice. Don't don't ruin Dunkin' There's for me. Please. I mean, Freak I've, it. I've, I've, it's already I've lived, been ruined for me. I've lived on Dunkin' Donuts since I was a little kid. Explain so much. My God. How many health disorders do you have? Because you can't blame all that on Dunkin' Donuts. I am going to be blaming it on it. I mean, I only. I have, can show you the list of chemicals that are in their food. I only have like a couple issues. Because the brain injury was not my fault. That was a car accident. So you can't blame poor nutrition on that. Because some dude literally hit me. He T-boned me. That's not my fault. Bagels are not supposed to be good for several days in a row. I'm just saying. You would have to put something in them to increase the shelf life. You don't want to know what's in I worked in a bakery. We did not. We tossed out the bagels we made every day. You didn't work at Dunkin' Donuts. Don't ruin this for me. Son, I'm not listening. I'm not. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. No. I can't hear you! Stop it! Stop it! Stay away from my Dunkin' Bagels! I worked in a bakery! We were up to FDA standards! Stop it! Pineapple! The said woman's crying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry! My gosh, Amber! Oh, he's going too far! Same. Blue! No! Even if you were a billionaire, blowing four hundred dollars on Dunkin' Donuts is insane. All right, here. That is a okay, bad right. financial. How price. much? How much? How much for a cup of coffee in, at a? Uh... No, people do not get coffee. They're like, I would like coffee. Now I'm gonna get a donut. Now I'm gonna get a bagel okay, with okay. cheese. This is this is. Okay, I'll tell you how much a coffee is. Okay. A medium Get coffee wearing. at Dunkin' Donuts, iced coffee, five. Dollars, if not five thirty, that is a tremendous amount of money. That and is ice coffee is five dollars. Yeah, it's a rip off. Oh my gosh! Okay. Yeah, Luke. Well, my yeah, it's horrible. And <coughs> okay. Also, all right. They put some kind of questionable sweetener in there. All right, all right. So let's say um, my mom does get iced coffees at Dunkin'. I don't know if they do it every day, but um, it's five dollars. My dad gets a. Just make coffee at home. Right. My dad gets. I have a, a Mac. Uh, what is it? Black medium or small cup of uh so why wouldn't you just make that at home why why do you have money? Right. I if think you five dollars to waste on coffee why couldn't you just get a meal for five dollars go to mcdonald's and buy five dollar hamburgers well i mean he doesn't know he's again because i don't know this one could this always... moment right now but coffee is a drug so like right. why would you just be right. drugging Shh, it? don't don't say too much of that i'm just saying like it's not Forget really I got... whatever um, when we lived I gotta in go before I lose the area that just have Dunkin' Donuts, he would have to get his nice. coffee from the, um, what do you call it, the, uh, I'm just saying gas it's station. Not, it's not and the gas station's coffee was, like, I even asked him, I was like, why do you, 
why why do you drink coffee so much? And he's like, well, I've been drinking coffee since I was like seven. Goodbye. Like, oh my god. Oh, yeah. I mean, he could have gotten the neuropathy from me. What happened? Uh, Caffeine is clinically proven to deplete your vitamins, especially vitamin B, which you need for your nerves. Yeah. So actually, the coffee did give him neuropathy. In theory, we don't have proof, though. Because if you say something like the that, that, then, it, then the fact, donuts could sue you. The fact that he has neuropathy and he's been drinking coffee since he's 17, there you go. There's well, nothing more that needs to be said. It's, you, no, you have to say it's possible that that could be the cause. You don't know for certain. You can't say that. What? I didn't say it was Dunkin' Donuts. Well, how did I? Okay, then how did I get neuropathy? I stopped drinking coffee. By the time I was 20. Right, you got it from Doritos. That stuff has MSG in it. But I stopped eating Doritos when I was 21. The damage was already done. That's not possible. You shouldn't be eating Doritos. Nobody eats them. But I don't eat junk food anymore. I haven't... But the damage was done. It... So... No, I, I don't believe that. I don't believe that. You shouldn't put anything that has all the weird... Look on the back of the ingredient thingies. Don't don't eat the weird chem. If it says this is chemicals in it, don't eat it. You're just eating. You might as well just eat a bottle of chemicals that we're eating or something. I'm a type A personality, and I don't need coffee. Well, I mean, I I noticed that I was very. You don't want a person with ADD drinking coffee. So, how I used to get through church and other things is I would have several cups of coffee. Uh, because they used to, I don't know if your guys' churches do this, but mine, where my dad was a minister, <laughs> it, every day after Sunday school, uh, they would have like a little, little spread. There would be coffee and there would be donuts and there would be like, you shouldn't be doing that at church because that's promoting like a, well, but I, I don't I don't know where the where the stuff came from, but since it was you know you could go up and have as many cups as you wanted for a twelve year old to a like eighteen year old wow. that was not a good thing because I would literally have on Sunday your family should have prevented you from eating that at twelve. I mean, you know, I wasn't even allowed to have coffee when I was a kid. Yeah, so I I had a. I on Sundays I would have tons of coffee, and when I couldn't have coffee, I get very irritable. And then wow. you know I got the ulcers. You're addicted as well. Yeah, I had the ulcers, and then the doctor told me he said, "Hey, he says there's no proof of this, but he says you're very caffeinated. Uh, maybe this is causing you know some of your if we you know tackle this now, and you know you quit the coffee cold turkey." You could probably not have ulcers anymore. And also, he said, cut out the Taco Bell because I was having Taco Bell like almost every day after work because it was near my job. Um, so I cut, which was very hard. My it was, it was, it was, make for your health. yes, the tacos that my wife makes is why I'm able to have tacos again. I can have Mexican food it's healthier. because I it's, don't put additives. No, there's no additives. It's all fresh, and that's why it doesn't last very long. There's not a single fast food place that doesn't put additives. Right. So anyway. Um, by the time I was 21, I had given up coffee, uh, I had given up candy, and I had given up um, no. Taco Bell and so uh, soda and all this other stuff, junk food. And I got out of, or I went into remission for ulcers by the time I was 22. Like right before, Amber and I got married when I was 23. So I was, you know, I still had a lot of medical debt. Um, because like I got uh, hospitalized several times because I was like you know very sick. Uh, you butthole! Oh my god! Yeah, which your parents should have paid for that because it was in your house that it happened. You didn't have any help. With that. Um, I did. I did have help with that until I was eighteen. So there was. Trying to the, up someone the, with grenades. What is that supposed to mean? You still had to pay the debt after you were eighteen. No. How does that mean you had help? Because I was I was under their insurance. They gave you two cents. No, oh, I was under their insurance until I was like the age of eighteen. But you didn't get into the car accident until you were after. Right. right, I was. Yeah, Freak the car accident freaking... is what really messed me up. I only had a little bit of medical debt Freak left it. over from you know the hospital stuff. Then 
Why did car accidents. Uh, when I was 19, I, I had to go in where they thought I had appendicitis and they were worried that my, my thing was going to burst. And it, what? yeah, it turned out that I was having like some uh, complications with the ulcer medicine or something like that. So, but I wasn't on insurance anymore because I wasn't uh, over, I was over the age of whatever that a, a person could be seen as a child. Went from the sky like and again from the sky. Yeah. I mean, even my parents took me to the clinic after 18, though. No, I still, I, I still had too. people drive me to the, the places. No, I mean, my family paid for me to go to the Oh, crap. No, they, ah. they, they paid, they paid you know for stuff like that. It's just like, you know what? Just so I don't get in trouble. Um, I'm just going to go into BRB, and then I guess I can react to Saf's song, and then that'll be it. On the stream after that, because you know it's only three minutes long, probably. I think. Okay, I'm gonna be happy. We will be right back. All right, guys, so for the finale to this stream, I'm going to react to Sapphire's brand new song, Call You Mine. So let's just get into it. Okay, I like that start. Okay. 
let's work it down a little bit. I felt to pull right from the stone. I tried to shut it out, but it came out of my heart. Mm-hmm. But then you tore the doors apart. Seriously? What? Okay, I have to restart. Okay. No, I don't. Oh, I'll, just... I'll just play it through, I guess. Well, I don't have time. So. I'll just. This is just going to be the last thing. Not that long. So, we got. I like this. It's really good. I like how it just started out slow, then it um, kind of gets a little bit more stuff to it, like more instruments. It's really cool. Holy crap, this is good. I like this. That was really good. That was really good. I'm probably gonna um, not clip it, but I'll probably um, highlight that probably tomorrow. I'm probably not gonna upload this until tomorrow because, well, it's late. I, I need to go lay down. So thank you guys so much for watching the stream. I played with K-Wing, and then I just reacted to Sapphire's brand new song, Call You Mine. I love it. It's really good. 
I love how it has that slow, like start in it. Gets more instruments into it, and then it's, it just—it's really good. Like, you gotta check this song out. It's out now on Spotify. So shout out to Sapphire for that. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving, or technically now it's not. It's technically freaking Black Friday because, well, no one likes having to deal with the chaos of Black Friday shopping. At least when you have to. At least not me. That's why I don't do that. Um, but yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. And until the next one, CDB Nation, out.